Mirror Me is a combination of filmic, stage and musical techniques that overall combine to give a true multimedia experience. My name is Thomas Selick Newton and I'm the director and grand facilitator of Mirror Me. What I wanted was to create a show that explored the idea of the binary and respectively work alongside our, our generation's similar interest of questioning what we've always known to be the traditional conventions of everything really from man, woman, gay, straight, feminine, masculine. This show looks at an ever-changing society where individuals, relationships, image and even the decisions someone makes begin to exist out of the binary. For the show we use themes from the story of Narcissus to act as a framework and that was really interesting how it posed questions of some of those conventions in its own right. The main purpose of the R&D was to establish whether the specific concept of a stage layout defined by projection on smoke could work. What we discovered was not just that it worked, but we found an organic, symbiotic piece that truly was pushing unfamiliar ground. From the live music on stage, to digital artistry, to even the lighting, everything was an actor on stage and nothing was hidden. Considering we didn't have a colossal amount of time together, the harmonization of the entire cast and, and the crew, it was the most in tune, I think, I felt with an entire company for years. I'm Kevin Hardman of One Little Atlas. Hi, my name's Dean, and I'm in the band One Little Atlas. Tom asked us to come on board with no preconceived ideas and nothing prepared for the performance. We were just told to bring our stuff and see for ourselves. Having worked that way now, uh, I can honestly say it's been an incredibly rewarding but an also uh, equally challenging task as well. Being on stage as part of the performance where the sound is, um, is portrayed almost as a physical entity that you can use to move the performers. This was also done simultaneously while affecting and being affected by the lighting. All being improvised on the spot and played completely live. It was our choice to bring down a varied amount of different pieces of gear, such as guitars, the modular system, loop pedals and recorders. So we had the widest choice of textures and colours. This would allow us to explore many avenues in real time, as Tom directed the actors and dancers. It was refreshing for the music to be a big part of the process, especially with everything being in real time. We had some amazing moments of serendipity when actors would be playing off each other through the choreography and we would respond in real time with no preconceived ideas. A standout was a moment where the dancers would react to an imaginary wall of smoke pushing and pulling between the barrier to get to each other and we had these huge musical structures breaking up dynamically to their movements. 
Hello, my name is Catherine and I work with Tom Crawford on the digital media, specifically the projections and smoke with the Mirror Me R&D. We use the Isadora software to control and manipulate the projections, something that both me and Tom actually hadn't used before, so director Tom gave us a crash course on our first day and from there we were let loose on the performance. We used the Isadora program to control the projectors, which were projecting the light shapes onto the smoke, which essentially created these amazing spaces and rooms for the performers to move in between. This was all enhanced by the lighting by Jake and the music by Dean and Kev. It was brilliant how the digital media, lighting and music worked organically with the performers. Me and Tom would trigger the projections to change with specific moves of the performers, so it really did feel like we were part of the performance as well. Now with more knowledge of the software, we could definitely take it further in the future. Isadora can be controlled by MIDI, so that means we can sync up the live band and the projections. So for instance, the band could play a note on the keyboard and that could trigger the projections to change shape. There's loads of potential and fun to be had, I think, and so we, we look forward to having a go with this further down the line. Creating the lighting for this for this show was really a unique experience. It's unusual to have the, the lighting so integrated in the piece, and whilst it, you know it's always important for any show to be well lit, um, very rarely is it so much a part of the action. It's the most complete R&D process I've been a part of. In terms of the end product, the end product, that is a scene that if I had to show that to people tomorrow, I would be proud of. The next step of this project would be to tour and bring this work to as many communities as we can. I think that's essential to fulfill its aims to question the status quo and therefore you know, by doing that it needs to be distributed to people who go to the theatre but to those who don't either for whatever reason whether that's accessibility or interest. I'm really looking forward to what this piece can do for everyone who comes to see it. Thank you.